there's a town which has had enough. It wants the crime to stop, the teenagers to behave, the police to regain control of the streets. The town is Birkenhead, on the River Mersey, in the shadow of Liverpool, but with its own civic pride. The pride came from shipbuilding. The wealth generated by that industry built Hamilton Square, a lasting reminder of more prosperous times. The last 10 years have seen the closure of the shipyards, recession and unemployment. Hamilton Square is waiting for the good times to return and Birkenhead is trying to find a new role for itself. To do that, it's developed one of the country's most controversial and radical regeneration strategies. Its top priority, wiping out crime and antisocial behavior. The police are leading the strategy. The local superintendent has given some officers freedom to patrol the way they want. It's called Town Safe. Stay still and behave yourself. We'll confront uh, most antisocial behaviour. Say things we won't tolerate. Um, public urination, anything antisocial, bad language, um, abuse, um, horseplay that's got out of hand. Obviously, we, we're, we're not talking of zero tolerance. We're talking of maybe being a le less tolerant, using common sense. But again, understanding that to attract the people into Birkenhead uh, and to make it feel safe, people have got to be able to walk around in safety. Birkenhead is a very busy area. Um, and officers generally on patrol and still now to a certain extent haven't got the time to target um, the likes of the anti-social issues and what have you. There could be that there was one patrol car um, in a particular area, there could have been hundreds of thousands of people uh, and it, it, it comes down literally to sort of selecting who you would arrest or who you would confront, it's a safety issue. A lot of the time it was tactical, you couldn't arrest somebody uh, for a relatively minor thing, take yourself off the street and there goes the police presence altogether. Now there's a few more bodies tied into this operation and we can go and confront these things when they're relatively... What happened? We sit you up, let's sit him up. Stand up. Put you on the old feet, going up now. Alright, there's a little bench over here, there's a belt and a wall in. A year ago, Birkenhead reached a turning point. A particularly brutal assault in a shopping precinct, recorded by security cameras, strengthened the resolve of the authorities to take a tough line. You may find what follows disturbing. Because they were caught on camera, four young men pleaded guilty. They were jailed for a total of nine years for serious assault and robbery. The judge said the court wouldn't tolerate such behavior in Birkenhead. The two victims were lucky to make a full recovery. Since then, police say they've not been called to any serious assaults in Birkenhead shopping precinct. They believe troublemakers now realise they could be filmed on closed-circuit cameras. What I'm suggesting is let's keep the best of our old ideas let's, and the best that technology can, can bring as well. Um, for example, closed-circuit television. It's a great boon to me in the town centre. It's operated widely, provides good evidence. I'm actually in a position to almost, I'm hoping, eradicate crime in that area over the next few years. Townsafe was launched in May, six months after the shopping centre assault, and more cameras were installed. Most of the town centre is now monitored. The latest fibre optic and infrared technology means clear pictures day and night. The cameras have picked up a young couple involved in a scuffle in the doorway of a nightclub. The police have been told he's wearing a white top. Does it make no odds? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. No. Daddy, thanks a lot. Happy birthday. 
Oh, I'm not joking for sure, though, both. Too much. Stop it in the arm. I'm not in the arm, I'll put you. Because of what took place earlier at the nightclub, the man was charged with an assault. Birkenhead wants outsiders with cash to spend to come for a good night out. Townsafe is trying to change the perception that it's a no-go zone for yuppies. Late night patrols when the clubs close are a priority. The police believe their show of strength troublemakers are dealt with firmly. What used to attract a cautionary word from police could now mean a night in the cells. A teenage girl in a taxi queue is about to cross the fine line police have drawn between high spirits and unacceptable behaviour. Got to attack place. Met up with these lads, just having a gab to them and that. And then they make suggestions and Get a bit shaky with us. As they attacked, poured the poured, like, bottle of water with me, so I'm not having that, so I went off after them. Hey, so I've finished the water with a long way to go. I'll stand up for myself, me, and I'll have a go back. Next thing you knew, I was getting carted away by the police into a van. Yeah. At 17, Nicola Randall still lives at home with her mum. She works as a care assistant in a nursing home. She'd like to train to qualify as a nurse. Nicola told us she'd not been arrested before. She'd been arrested before. I was made with bottles of lager on it and a, a bottle of alcoholic iron brew. It's just a, a few and that was it. How many is a few, would you say? Um, about three bottles of blood and a bottle or a couple of bottles of the alcoholic iron brew and that was it. It's quite a lot for a 17 year old though to be drinking, isn't it? I used to drink a bit more than that. See, I usually drink spirits, uh, but I was drinking bottled lagers. I usually drink more than that and I can hold it. I'm alright with it. You shot me in the I mean, they used to be quite nice to talk to, or not. They're cocky with you, and don't care. You just shove you in the van, and that's it. You're going. When you get the last of the three, do you think it's changed your attitude to police? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I thought, well, they're all right, but not anymore. No way. Can't stand them now. <laughs> Even though they were breaking up a fight on that night that you were involved in. Well, it wasn't a fight as such because I was just arguing. I mean, they chucked the bottle of water over me. If they hadn't have gone in the taxi, I think I would have smacked them one. Nicola was cautioned, but not charged. If she had have been, police would almost certainly have imposed tough bail conditions, curfews restricting her liberty.